What's up guys, welcome to another sneaker review and today I'm going to talk about the Adidas Sobokov. So this is video number two, uh, lessons learned from the first video. Uh, I, w I realized I was seated uh, too, too close to the camera and uh, you know, my pimples and blemishes could be seen. So right now I'm seated slightly further or rather I place the camera further, right? And of course, no sneaker Oh, I just kicked the tripod. So no sneaker review is complete without some uh, shoes or, or shoe boxes in the background. And I assure you, these are not empty boxes. Over here is the uh, Pharrell Williams B Crazy BYW Level X. Fancy. Uh, but we're not going to talk about that today. Okay, the rest are empty actually. So this got delivered to me today. I genuinely wish to say that this video was brought to you by N Clothing, um, but I unfortunately I paid for this, so spent about three, uh, four hundred Singapore dollars uh, for it to ship to me internationally for free. So yeah, one hundred percent independent for now, right? So let me see uh, stuff for my friend. Some clothing, ah, this one, this uh, BBC, Billionaire Boys Club, uh, always love Pharrell, yeah, in case you don't know, BBC uh, was established by Pharrell Williams himself and Nigo, it's Nigo, okay, uh, creator of uh, Bathing Egg. So this, yeah, I know N Clothing always has something uh, Personalized, yep, you got it. Name card, that's his signature. Thank you, thank you, Aiden. Uh, not free anyway, but thank you for, for putting these together. Nice, well, very well packaged. Uh, yes, so the shoes. I don't have uh, any uh, B roll cameras right now. There's a work in progress. Uh, yeah. Another blue box. Not Tiffany and Co., but Adidas. Okay. This new silhouette right here is the Adidas Sobokov. Or, uh, you know, if you want to be 100% politically correct, is actually called the Adidas Sabako. It's Russian anyway, and most of. Okay, let me check on the uh, correct pronunciation. This pronouncenames.com. Sabako. 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 Now you got it, and. Sabako. And of course, you know, we keep saying things like Adidas, Adidas, right? But actually, the correct pronunciation is Adidas. It's a German name. Founder is uh, Adolf Dassler. Oh, my German accent is there. Um, uh, you know, Adi for short, so Adidasler, right? So it's Adidas, not Adidas. But whatever it is, let's just call it. The Adidas Sobokov. First impressions, or rather this is actually the second because I do have the black pair which I sold it off almost immediately on the first day. Uh, why is that so? Because it does not fit through the size. I'm a UK9 uh, but I realized that there was some uh, too much gap in the toe box area so I, I down half a size and of course I couldn't get that because uh, in Singapore <coughs> The stores they have a full size run, but each pair, or rather each size, have only one or two pairs. So it was sold out the very next day. You know, even though this is more like a general release model, but anyway, thank you and clothing. Thank you again. The white ones have not been released in Singapore yet, so I'm I'm very glad to to get the white one. Even though I just feel that maybe the black one is better. But reason for copying this in the first place, it was a must cop for me because uh, it kind of brought me back to uh, my younger days, I want to say childhood, but younger days in my teens where 
I kind of idolized uh, David Beckham and he got this pair called the Predator Precision you know it's a soccer uh, cleats soccer boots yeah I got that and this stripe design uh, just reminded me of that younger days the fit is perfect now but I just feel not what I'm not feeling a 100% with this shoe simply because this doesn't have boots okay I'm not saying it's not comfortable but uh, I just don't see myself wearing this the whole day unlike boots you know boots when I try to break in my shoe I would actually just wear be in my PJs or even shorts and just wear the shoe walk around the house you know just to, to break in the shoe expand the prime knit but this isn't prime knit this is they call it the, the knitted upper it's pretty good quality but it's not uh, not stretchy you know uh, but my problem with this is, is no boost anyway pretty well made yeah I love this um, okay it's leather leather over here these stripes is actually it could be leather but uh, it's reflective pretty cool pretty cool um, definitely a, a unique silhouette uh, more like an alternative to Yeezy's don't you think so or rather I find so right on an ending note I can't really say that I recommend or do not recommend this uh, sneaker because um, it's pretty much like an acquired taste I find you know is it easy not easy I mean would you cop an easy if it wasn't called easy simply just a general release brand or rather release model so mixed feelings about this uh, I personally need to wear them more often and, and see whether how it matches my, my outfit or, or lifestyle right um, but speaking of lifestyle uh, yeah some would say hey this just looks like uh, something you wear to play football with or soccer for that matter right the thing is there's nothing wrong about it yeah just some thoughts example Nike kind of built its brand you know grow its brand with, with, with revolving around basketball you know, correct me if I'm wrong right the Jordan brand and everything and and Adidas had always been football soccer so now it's kind of like going back to its roots you know with its design it's retro and all retro is, is back anyway but that shoes are that shoes are, are not for me you know as in daddy shoes right the, the big chunky ones so tell me your thoughts uh, although my channel is not popular enough where people are dropping comments and anything but um, yeah I leave it to you guys